All right, welcome back everybody. This is box number, collector's box number two from uh, Kaldheim. We're gonna go ahead, pop this bad boy open, uh, see what we got in this round. Last round we did really well. We ended up getting the uh, Vorinclex, not Vorniclex, like I had thought it was. Uh, we ended up getting the Vorinclex and a lot of really good mythics. Um, we ended up getting a couple copies of the uh, one uh, World Tree uh, God check. Um, good grief, can't even. Name slipped my mind, but uh, we did pretty well in the last box, so hopes are up that we do well in this box as well. So let's go ahead and get to it. Hype to see what we pull out of this one. Hopefully we pull some more awesomeness. We'll see what we have. Doop -a -doo. All right. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, there we go. Again, liking the box, liking the art on there. You know, really stands out. It's very nice, very good looking. A lot of fun. Having so much fun opening up all this kind of stuff. So hopefully, uh, if we can get some support, get some people hopping in on, you know, some of the videos and, you know, kind of putting up on a lot of stuff. Uh, I'd love to be able, if anybody's interested, you know, in wanting to pay up for the box and then i'll just pop it open do the unboxing and then mail them out afterwards i would very much be uh down to do so so again if we can get some more people hopping in on the videos uh wanting to join in on this kind of stuff to just do more un unboxings and openings i am very much down for that so you all please let me know in the comments if you're interested in any of that uh and we will see about getting to it so all right we'll get this off to the side Let's get to ripping here. We'll put those up in the corner there. Let the fun begin. All right. So let's see. We got our commons here. A couple of commons, as always. Got our snow land there. We got a snow island this time around. All right, so what do we got? So, okay, uh, I guess come to figure out that on these, the ones that have the symbol in the corner there, those are all ones from, I believe, that are also included in the uh, Commander uh, Precons. So, I believe these are some of the uh, Precon specific cards that are in the uh to the spirit and the elf tribal um commander precon deck so i think that's what that is so kind of figured that one out all right cool let's get to this one here so we got serpent soul jar ice breaker kraken very nice blessing of frost Little snow sorcery there. Uh, Agar freezing flame. We've gotten him a couple of times here. Uh, Seagrid, fa Se uh, uh, God favored. We've gotten that one a couple of times. Vega the Watcher once again, and Draugar Necromancer. Eh, very nice. And that, this time we got the uh, full art foil once again. We've gotten that one a couple of times, and then we got our token there. So, not a bad first box. Okay, nothing spectacular, but we'll see how this goes. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Funeral longboat. Uh, Draugr Helm. Uh, slays the troll. Arnie slays the troll. Huh. Nice. Another snow is land. Oh, we got the commander that comes in the spirit tribal deck for the precon. So that is a mythic. We'll slide him up that way. We got Skimfar Avenger. Battle for Battle of Frost and Fire. 
Uh, Cole, the Forge Master, once again. Ah, uh, hey, all right. Second Mythic, Tyvar, uh, which is actually our third copy between two boxes. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Harold, looking for Kumar, and Pyre of the Heroes. Oh, man, I think that's a really nice pull there. That's uh, really, really dope. I think that's one that a lot of people were looking for, uh, a lot of capability. I think that one um, may not be going for a whole heck of a lot. I'm not sure, but I know that was one that a lot of people were touting about once they saw it. They were like, this is going to break break a lot of meta builds and, and become a very uh, staple card in a lot of decks. So, very nice, very nice. And we got a zombie berserker with a treasure on the back. Treasure. All right, so let's see. We got coming up next to the stage. Eat it in the swing my trash can around to the side here. Make it a little easier for myself. I'm not a contortionist, so I'm trying to make it easy on myself for a little bit at least. All right, Narfi. And we got ooh Valkyrie sword. Mm -hmm. Da, da, da. And then we got a snow swamp. Uh, we got certain elementalist. Oh, we got another copy of Pyro Heroes. So this one, uh, we had the full art foil, and this time around we have just the regular full art. So very nice, very cool. There we go. So. Not too shabby. We got Calamity Bearer. Finn the Fang Bearer. We got Cosima, God of the Voyage. Not bad. Uh, we got Agar, Freezing Flame. And that was the uh, Metal Art. Oh, we got Sir Rolf, Realm Eater. Nice. We got the Foil... Uh, Foil with uh, Kaldheim frame. And then another Berserker with a shard. Alright, we're doing alright. We're swinging right along here. Let's see. Do -do -do. Let's see here. We're in the speed, rootless you. Alright, we got a snow covered forest. Uh, Ethereal Valkyrie. Which I believe is probably one of the ones that is in the uh, Spirit Tribal. Which I think we've gotten that one out of the set before already. So, cool. Not bad. Rally the Ranks. Yep, yep. Oh, here we go. We got Orvar the All Form. Now, this one I think is going for a pretty penny. Uh, I think... Man, I, I can't remember what it was in the range of maybe 10 to 15 was the range that this one was. Maybe a little bit more. I could be very wrong. But legendary creature, shapeshifter, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, if that targets one or more permanents you control, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it targets one or more uh, other permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of one of those permanents when a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this card, create a token that's a copy of target permanent. Nice, nice. Not bad at all. Morte. And then we got Arnie. Arnie Broken, Bow, Broken Brow again. So the other picture had him with uh, the uh, troll horn sticking out of the side of his dome. So that's nice. Human Berserker there. And then we got Morte again. So we got back-to-back -back Mortes in here. One foil, one non. Ah. Uh, Rune Forge Champion. Not too shabby. Dwarf Warrior. Uh, two and a white. Huh, surprise. Dwarf Warrior for white. And there's a battlefield. You may search your library and or graveyard for a rune card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If you search your library... Uh, this way, shuffle it, and you may pay one rather than pay the mana cost for the rune spells you cast. Huh. Nice. 
And then we got Bird Token with Human Warrior. All right, moving right along. All right. Mm -hmm. Colossal Plow. Interesting. Add three white. And you gain three life till end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Port of Corral. Carfell. Ah, snow covered plains. Ah, Wolverine Riders. This is from the Elf deck. Uh, Reckless Crew. Uh, create X 2 1 red dwarf berserker creature tokens, where X is the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipment you control. For each of those tokens, you may attach an equipment you control to it. Ooh, very nice. I am more than likely going to see about putting that in my dwarf deck when that comes around here. So, hopefully, Magnus makes an appearance. Would love to have her show up. If I do get a hold of her, then that is definitely going to be on. All right. Blight Step Pathway. We've seen this one already with the Seer Step. Uh, this is Vela, and this is with the uh, new Border and Foil, which we've gotten a copy of that coming around. Uh, Raiden, God of, God of the Worthy. We've seen that one come through, so not bad. And then we got a 5-5 Flying Dragon token with a Elf Warrior on the back. Alright, we are halfway through, and this time around we've only gotten three Mythics. Huh. Looking kind of light on the Mythics here. Hopefully that means good things coming at the end. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Come on. Uh, no. Da, da, da. Frostpire. Agar again. Mm, Snow-covered mountain. We got Waking of the Trolls. Runeforge Champion. We got Jorn. God of Winter. Uh, Narfi. And then Sarulf, this time non foil. With Finn the Fangbearer on the back end there. And, oh, another copy of Reckless Crew. This time, full art foil. Very nice. Very nice. That's uh, pretty nice. I like that. All right. And then, oh, we got Tibble Cosmic Imposters uh, emblem there. So cool. All right. We are over halfway through. Now. We are halfway through. Working on the second half. Let's see. Come on. Fingers crossed. Somebody somebody cool show up, man. Alright. Usher Fallen. We got Harold and Kumar. Snow covered Isaland. Uh Bears of Lit Jara. Huh. Uh first round created two two blue shapeshifter. Uh, creature token with changeling, nice. Any you know, uh, second round, any number of target shapeshift or creatures you control have base power and toughness of four. And then third round, choose up to one target creature or planeswalker. Each creature with power four or greater you control deals damage equal to its power to that permanent. Nasty. Uh, Dream Devourer, Demon Cleric. Very different, very different there. Did I grab two at once? Yeah, I did. That's all. All right, Vega. Oh, Kaya, here we go. Kaya the Inexorable. Three for a white and three white black planeswalker. 
Her plus one ability put a ghost form counter on up to one target non token creature. Uh, it gains when this creature dies or is put into exile, return it to its owner's hand and create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. Yeah, cool. Uh, minus three is exile target non land permanent. And then minus seven is you get an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a legendary spell from your hand from your graveyard or from among cards you own in exile without paying its mana cost. Nice. So let somebody exile something is like, nah. Well, as long as it's legendary, then you can get it casted. Nice. Hey, there we go. So we got Kaya coming through. Nice to see. And then we got Arnie once again. Full art with the new, uh, or not full art. Foil with the new art. So, oh. And then we got Tyvar Kell's emblem with a Dwarven Berserker on the back. Nice. We got three copies of Tyvar Kell, so, hey, somebody wants it, they get that with it. And as I mentioned uh, in previous parts of videos, um, if anybody is interested, send me a comment, let me know. Uh, I do sell these on eBay, so that way I usually sell them for a pretty solid price. Trying to make sure that, you know, one, I recruit my cost of these boxes uh, and then if it helps out somebody else that they can get the card for less than you would off of most of the other markets that are out there, hey, I don't mind at all. As long as I'm getting back what I can get on it, I am more than happy. All right, Sage of the Beyond. One from the Spirit deck. Uh, oh, Faceless Haven. Tap at a colorless for three Snowland mana. Faceless Haven becomes a 4-3 creature with Vigilance and all creature types until end of turn. It's still a land. Nice. Not bad at all. Oh, we got another Reckless Crew. That's number three for the day. All right. Oh, my, my rare's over here losing a mind, so. We got Call. Battle Mammoth. Ah, another Mythic. Nice. Three green green elephant trample whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls you may draw a card very nice draw ability and it's a big mamma jamma with six five and trample definitely definitely would go great in a green deck carder and then the dragon kin berserker so not bad not bad So, cool, cool. And the replicated ring with treasure on the back. Alright, four packs left. Yeah, we're much lighter on the Mythics in this box than we were in the previous one. So, man, hopes. High hopes we get some, some really nice stuff in these last couple of pulls. We'll see, though. We'll see. I may have to... Buy another box just to redeem this one. Mm, Snow Covered Forest. Uh, Battle of Frost and Fire. We saw that one a little bit earlier. Dream Devourer once again. Oh, and we got another Battle Mammoth. Hey, hey. This one is just regular art with the foil. Uh, Harold and Kumar once again. Oh, we got... Oh, there we go. That's one of the big boys coming. Coming to play. Halvar, God of Battle. Very much so. Alright, so he's two white white. Four four creature. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. Very nice. At the beginning of each combat you may attach target aura or enchantment or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control so you can move your equipments around or enchantments very very nice very nice uh we got the sword of realms on the back of him there equip creature gets plus two plus oh and has vigilance whenever equip creature dies return to its owner's hand nice that's one in a white and then equip for one in a white very very nice hey halvar stopped on by that's what i'm talking about 
That's one of the big boys out of the deck. One of the, the higher price, higher worth ones. Very nice. Uh, and then we got some Igna. And then let's see here. Let try to get this puppy to focus. There we go. There we go. And then we got Crippling Fear. That's not bad at all. Oh, and then we got a Comus Coil with a Elf Warrior. All right, three packs left. Oh, no, oh, oh, okay. We're over here body slamming cards around. Let's see what we can see. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, one lane with Tender. Maja, Brett Gerb, right there. We got Snow Plains. Uh, Crown of Skemfar. Uh, Enchanted Creature gives 1 1 for each elf you control and has reach. Huh, that's not bad at all. Uh, Skemfar from, for 2 and a green. So the cast cost is 2 green green, and then for 2 and a green, you can return it from your graveyard to your hand. Not bad. Not bad. That would definitely come in handy in the elf deck. Oh, Resplendent Marshal. Angel Warrior. One white, white. Flying 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield or dies, you may exile another creature card from your graveyard. When you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control other than Resplendent Marshal. That shares a creature type with it, with the exile card. Nice. So you put that in a little uh, Angel Tribal, you know... Or warrior tribal, whichever you've got. And then, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Okay, we're starting to make up a little bit of the distance there. Uh, waking the trolls. Uh, Morte. Oh, we got a birdie, Bergy. Bergy, god of storytelling. And then we got the Judge of Valor coming through here. Uh, Dark Boar Pathway. Ooh. Not bad. So, full art foil on that one. With the Slither Boar Pathway. And I do like that they went and finished out the whole set. So, now they got all ten. Or all the ones that have the, the different, you know, flip sides to them. So, I'm very pleased that they did that. Angel Warrior 4-4 four, four token with Human Warrior on the back. Very pleased, very happy that they did go out and finish those. I was looking for a couple of those myself. Those are in the set. We've gotten uh, seen those come through, so very pleased, very pleased there. All right. Mm -mm. And we got Snow Covered Forest, and then all right, Showdown of Skull of the Skulls. So we got that one there. Calamity Bearer, once again. Dark Boar Pathway. Hey, we just had that one. This time just the simple foil. And then we got Marja. Ah, Toski. Toski. Crazy Attack Squirrel. And then we got Cole. And, oh, Tyvar for the... Fourth one between two boxes. Full art, full art foil. I think we got the exact same thing in the previous one. So, okay, okay. We're at, we're at nine mythics with a treasure and a demon berserker on the back. So, that is in two boxes. We have come across four copies of Tyvar Kel. What is this? Teferi? Teferi 2.0? That was uh, in the uh, core 2021 boxes. Those, I mean, there was so many, so many different versions of Teferi. It was, it was kind of insane. Now we're just getting the same one just all over the place. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm good with it. It's all good. It's fun. I like opening the boxes. I'm having more fun doing that than anything else, so I can't complain too much. I mean, I'm still going to, but, you know, like I said. All right, Stoic Farmer, Dwarf Peasant. 
That's probably in the spirit pack. Yeah. Elvish Warmaster. Uh, search for glory. Here, let's uh, get a little. So let's see. Search for glory. Search your library for a snow permanent card, a legendary card, or a saga card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Then shuffle your library. You gain one life for each snow mana spent to cast this spell. Okay. I mean, not bad, but not great. Oh, okay, we're coming to the end. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got Jorn, God of Winter. Not bad, not great. Maja, and what's our last one? Ah, Rally the Ranks. Not shabby, not shabby at all. With a shapeshifter, human warrior. So, ah, that last box just kind of knocked it out of the park. I am glad that uh, Halvar did make it up this time around. Uh, still a lot of fun. I enjoy, you know, I get a kick out of opening these up. So, not a problem by any means. Uh, just wish that we got a little more out of it. But, hey, it's all fun. I enjoy it. So thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you would, come back, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that way as I put the videos up, you get uh, notified when the new ones are up. Uh, and we're just going to keep rolling with this. So if I can get the flip on all of this, uh, I will definitely see about picking up another pack and going from there. So I do appreciate it. Uh, you all do come back, join us, invite your friends. Uh, we're going to start doing some raffles and start, uh, giving out some things. So please do come back and that way we can, uh, have a little more fun and keep going with this. Try to, trying to get the channel to grow a little more. So I do appreciate it. Other than that, you all have a good one. Take it easy.